morning, boys and girls and families. I hope that you are all very happy and healthy. Here is our April calendar. And as you've noticed, hmm, there's some added details today. Boys and girls, why do we need a calendar? Well, you can see we need a calendar for information as well as to find out what day of the week it is. It is, boys and girls, a very important tool to help us keep track of time. So I've added some very important details. First of all, this is Holy Week. So the whole week is Holy Week and I've added Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Ryan's sixth birthday. It is going to be this coming Saturday. Ryan, I'm getting so excited for you. How many more days until Ryan's birthday? Well, first of all, let's first of all do today's date sentence. So, let's sing. First of all, let me ask you, how many days are in a week? That's great. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Is it Sunday? Is it Monday? Yes, it's Monday. Now let's count to find out what day, what number it is. One, two, three, four, five. What comes next? What comes after five? Is it this or this? Or, or that? Oh, I think you've got it. It's the number six. You can make the number six. I think you can. Remember the little poem that goes with the six? Make a curve and then a loop. There are no tricks to make a six. Do you want to do that again? Ready? Make a curve then make a loop there are no tricks to making a six or something like that okay boys and girls let's do the date sentence today is Monday April 6th 2020 let's do that date sentence down there today is oops let me find Monday. I put them on the side right here so I don't have to redo them. And I'm gonna stick my Monday in here. Capital M-O-N-D-A-Y spells Monday, comma, April. Capital A-P-R-I-L spells. And then I found the sixth. And I'll put it right there. And you can make the six once. I'm going to move it over a little bit. There we go. Make a curve, then make a loop. There are no tricks to make a six. There we go. And 2020. So, boys and girls, how many more days does Ryan need to wait till his big sixth birthday? Let's count together. One, two, three, four. Four more days, Ryan. And then it's your birthday. And if you look, then I also put Easter Sunday on the calendar, which is going to happen next Sunday. And I also have Jax's fifth birthday. So I put, a, uh, put some important information on our calendar. Now, boys and girls, you can also count backwards starting at six today. You can go six, five, four, three, two, one. You can, uh, parents, you can also ask your children, what will it be tomorrow? And they can answer, it will be Tuesday tomorrow. 
What was it yesterday? Yesterday was Sunday. So the, that's another thing you can do with the calendar. Now I'm gonna bring you over to the days of Lent. Of course, you can notice I have my 10 frames out. I have one, two, three full 10 frames. And then look at my last one. How many are in there? How many little ones? So boys and girls, what you can do right now is think, how can I count this faster rather than counting by ones? Well, if we know this is a group of 10, we can go 10, 20, 30, and then begin accounting by ones. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Today is the 35th day of Lent. How many more days of Lent? I hope that you're keeping your promises. Remember, make good choices. And why are you here? To become the best version of yourself. And you can do it. I know you can. I really am proud of all of you. I love all the work that you're sending me. So keep sending me your work. I am looking forward to seeing more and more work. And I'll be sending you some more videos. Karina, do you want to show them how you listened? Come here, buddy boo boo. Oh, goodbye. Do you want to come? Come. Come back. Come on back. You don't need to leave. Are you going to leave me? Bye.